As you guys can see, I currently have a zero win streak in Hole Masters. Well, today that's gonna change because I will be playing until I lose, but if I use the strategy, I need to drop the strategy entirely. So I've gotta play until I lose with alternating strategies throughout the entire video. So this is gonna get interesting. Let's hop right into it. All right, guys, our first match of the video is against my boy Foxy Ops. Now I'm going bomb mortar farm here on map Cobra Command. So I'm gonna start with my bomb shooter right about here. They're starting with attack shooter in an anti-stall position there, okay? I see you. Foxy Ops normally uses Azealia, so it's interesting to see them not using Azealia here. Unless this is someone posing to be Foxy Ops and not the real Foxy Ops. That's also a possibility. It's also a possibility here. All right, let's get my Jerry down. Perfect. So they got their Jericho down as well. We're going to upgrade this to Frag Bombs pretty soon. Frag Bombs. Probably going to have to boost this round if they balloon boost at me. They boost on their side, okay? So they're really trying to anti stall the round. That's why they're boosting. They're trying to get these rounds short. We'll boost this. I should go get my cluster here. Yep. He hits me with the oops. Okay. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. They got their farm down early. Fair enough. They're going to outfarm me with TAC. That's kind of just a given. TAC will definitely outfarm Bomb on this map, but we should have a late game advantage here against TAC Wiz Farm, which is what I assume they're going. They could be going TAC Mortar Farm as well. Could be that. Get my Farmer down. Let's get my Balloon Bot down. They have Highwaymen here, so we both have Highwaymen, Jericho. Get my bigger bombs up on my Bomb Shooter. And ideally, we get my Farm down before Surroundings. I didn't actually leak that much early game, which is fantastic. So my life count's pretty healthy, which is really good because I don't have to worry too much about Jericho camos then. And this is a map where you typically leak a ton. So the fact that my life count's healthy is really good. All right, we're doing fine. I want to get heavy bombs on my bomb shooter eventually. But I kind of want to bait them into pressing the button on me. They go for attack shoot in the back. Okay. Maybe their attack's not soloing in the spot, in the spot that's placed. Not exactly sure why they did that. Alright, let's get heavy bombs up. I'm leaking a little bit to these balloons. I'll just get it up. It's mortar. Tack mortar farm. Okay. They go for an early mortar as well. So they're going for a lot of early defense. Which is interesting. An early mortar, early second tack. They're building up a lot of stuff. So I guess that's good for me, right? That's good for me. Because they're spending extra money. We've got a life lead too. So I'll take that. I think I'll go for a second farm and then I'll start saving up for my mortar. I'll go for a second farm first. Now I have to remember that I used my first steal late, so they're gonna get their second steal before I get my second steal. So I just gotta make sure they don't force sell anything on me. They force sell like my bomb shit or something, it could get kind of scary on my side. They go for a burny stuff on their side, okay. Upgrade my farm a little bit. Okay, he's gonna get steal here in a second. We're doing fine on my side, burny stuff. We're gonna have to boost this. Actually, do I have to? Now I do. Yeah, we waited till they balloon boosted though, which is good. We forced a balloon boost from them. I'll take that. So they can't balloon boost a rerush. They cannot balloon boost a rerush. This is on strong. Alright. They have up three mortars on their side. Their mortars targeted at the very end though, which is not ideal. Are they dead? They're dead. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's game one, I guess. Um, That was very interesting. I don't really know what my opponent was cooking there. But, you know, we can't use Bomb Mortar Farm again. So, all right. So, as you can see, I made a list now. And we have used Bomb Mortar Farm so far. So, I'll add to this list after every match. So, I make sure that I'm not using a strategy two times, if that makes sense. All right, guys, our next match of the video is on the map Star. Now, Star is a map where I have a lot of options for strategies. I can use bow and ice combinations. I can use tack village combinations. I can use bomb sub farm. There's a lot of things. I'm going to use tack loo village, though, because this is a strategy where... um Here, let's start with my Gwendolyn. This is a strategy where I can... I'm only going to use it on Star, right? This isn't a strategy I could be using on other maps for the most part. So it's nice to get it out of the way. So I need to be smart with how I use my strategies. I think tack loo village is a good pick for me here. I got my tax shirt right here, so I stole the rounds with this tax shirt spot. This is a stole tax shirt spot. My opponent's going bomb with a Zili, which is actually really interesting. 
bomb azealia is not something um i expected to see here let's go send some green balloons real quick i'll we'll balloon boost this if i can force a couple leaks on my opponent that's gonna be nice for me i'll go back to max eco now but i just want to maintain that life lead it's gonna be nice maintain that life advantage put my glue up at the top yeah, we got we got a decent amount of leaks on my opponent i'll take it i'll take it and we'll continue max eco on. i will continue with my max eco approach here there's gonna be max eco as well do they have actually have an eco strategy my opponent could have a straight up eco strategy here which would be surprising i don't know what you'd be bringing eco wise with bomb and azili it's not a normal eco combination so we'll have to wait and see they got their cluster well done well done well done let's upgrade my glue a little bit to stole these rounds out more well is it even worth for me to upgrade my glue to stole the rounds if they're going eco as well probably not probably was not worth to upgrade my glue but we did it anyways we did it anyways because i'm a savage windowed on first we're chilling let's get my farmer down let's get my balloon bot down Oh, I leaked. I leaked a little bit. My opponent's kind of on McDonald's Wi-Fi right now, so that might be why my targeting's not the best. Send him some white balloons. Uh, actually, we forced their bomb trip. Okay, let's go back to greens now. I can use my cocktail here whenever I need to. The moment we don't need to. The nice part about the squint spot is it somehow reaches my tax shooter buff. It doesn't look like it would, but it still reaches my tax shooter buff, it, which is really nice here. So the tax shooter with the pierce buff is actually pretty crazy. It's actually pretty crazy. Okay, I'm gonna use the cocktail here. And then after the cocktail's done, I need to get my blade shooter up. Yeah, game's lagging a little bit, which isn't the funnest experience, but I guess it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta deal with the lag. Send him to the elbows. We'll keep this on last for now, so it maximizes its pierce every shot. Actually, let's put it on first when the balloons start to push a little bit. I think we defend constant yells, though, because we'll get my Gwendolyn heated up here pretty soon. Yep, there it is. So with the Gwendolyn heated up coming in, we defend constant yells pretty well. Yeah, I gotta make sure I afford my round 12 defense, because my round 12 defense is actually quite expensive with my loadout. I need a Ring of Fire, I need a Blade Shooter, and I need a Camel Village. So my opponent's probably going to have the eco lead on me early because they probably have a cheaper round 12 defense, but that's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles, guys. That's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles. All right, let's get my texture down. We're lagging pretty hard here. Should be fine against these zebras. We'll stop ecoing when this income boost finishes. All right, there we go. How much does glue gunner sell for? About almost six hundred dollars. If I need to sell that later for a camo village or something, I can sell my glue gunner. Six hundred there. Good to good to keep track of. Yeah, we're good against all that. I can afford. I can afford. Yeah, there's their bomb sub. Okay, might be bomb sub sniper. I've actually seen some people running that recently. Because they use Bomb Sub Sniper with Azili, and what people do is they get up an Elite Defender late game, and they use Azili Totem to trigger the Elite Defender's um, faster attack speed. And it's actually pretty strong. So that could be what my opponent's using, Bomb Sub Sniper. I have seen that strategy running about recently. We're going to send them some ceramics. Okay, we forced a boost on their end. And a little bit of leaks. There is the Sniper. Look at that, dude. I called it. I literally called it. Do not tell me I did not call it, because I did. We'll send some more. Ceramics are almost just like straight up eco. With how how much they get, how much eco they give you per send. They're really close to just sending eco balloons, so I'm fine sending them as an eco player. It's not a bad send for me. The force defense and a boost on my opponent's send. It's not a bad send whatsoever. Now we'll maintain my eco. So they'll have a money lead on me they can. They'll definitely out money me because sniper farms are gonna make more than a pure eco strategy like I have, but I should have a stronger late game than them. So we'll see how this plays out. But they will out money me. They sell their sniper. 
Okay. And they replace it. Oh, they replace their sniper over there. So then when they Zeely totem, the Zeely totem will hit their sniper and their bombs. Because where it was placed earlier, they'd have to choose for their Zeely totem to hit the sniper or the bombs. But now it can hit both. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. They get up a Mauler against the non existent Moab. I should be fine there. Yeah, we're good. This lag is a little bit annoying though. When I'm defending stuff, I have to just be careful because I didn't put like a upgrade to defend. It takes like half a second extra or whatever for the upgrade to actually come into effect, which can be a little bit scary. I'll be honest. This should defend. Yeah, that defends pretty well. The glue gunner is really nice because it slows down the ceramics from the Moab. And then your ring of fire easily pops the fortified ceramics when they're slowed. Probably sell this tax shooter eventually. But we're doing good so far. We're doing solid. Should probably target the cocktail right here. It's going to be a better spot for it. That'll be a better spot for it. They've stopped eat going. So I assume they're saving up for like sniper upgrades or something. Yeah, they get up their... Um, they get up their supply drop. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. They're going for an elite sniper. We're going to send them some zebra eco then. Because elite sniper will get overrun by zebra eco. And they didn't actually afford it in time. Are they dead? One life? They're dead. They're dead. GG's. Okay. I... So... In a normal game for a video, guys, I would take let the game go late, but since I'm doing play till you lose, if I have a winning opportunity to like rush them there when they make a mistake, I'm just gonna take it, okay? I'm just gonna take it. So some of the games might be ending early today, and that's okay. Let me add that to my notes. We have used tack blue. I can't type village. Alright, perfect. Alright, our next match of the video is against the number one person on the leaderboard right now. So I gotta focus up. We are on the sands of time here. Boat, ice, and farm. We haven't used this strategy yet, so it's definitely a option. And I need to use a good strategy because it's a good player, so let's make sure we focus up here. We'll start off with my Gwendolyn right about here. Perfect. Puts on last. They're going on um, Super NG Farm, I'm guessing, because they brought Sentai Churchill, so they're probably going Super Monkey Engineer Farm, which is a pretty solid strategy on this map. It's a pretty solid option. So yeah, we'll see how we play this out. Let's get my boat down right here. Keep us on last. Move my farmer to the right side because that's where I'm going to place my farm. You want your farmer next to your farm because it will collect the banana faster if it's close to the location. It'll collect it faster. Yeah, we both got that up nicely done. Upgrade that. Alright, we're chilling, we're chilling. Throw it on my cocktail. Let's upgrade my farm. We'll get my boat upgraded now. Perfect. We're doing all right. They use turbo damage laser bombs. Let's get hot shot on this. Hot shot has been bought. They're gonna need to get up extra stuff against white balloons. I'm pretty sure. I don't think Sentai souls whites on this map. It does soul whites on some maps, but I don't think this is a map where it does. They go for two engineers, okay. That'll probably defend. I'd imagine. I'd imagine they know what they're doing, because they've used this strategy a lot. Got my monkey pirates up. Perfect. Do black balloons sneak by this or no? That's the question of the day. Maybe a little bit. If I catch them using Sentai 3, I'll balloon boost future ones. They are leaking, right? They're not leaking, what? I see like a million leaks on their side and apparently nothing's happening. Okay. Yeah, they haven't leaked a single life. 
But on my side, they've leaked like 30. That seems about right. Very good game, Ninja Kiwi. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, we got my plant up. We'll cross path this plantation as well. Everything's going fine. Go for a second farm. Perfect. Send me zebra balloons. Let's upgrade this to long range. Increased pierce. They still haven't bought their sentry expert up. Is that solo? Yeah, we forced a boost. Okay, that's what I wanted. We forced the boost out of him. That might not have been the best rush, though. I had to send a ton there, which was bad. I had to send a lot. It's Ace. Okay, we forced them to sell their farm. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. We should defend that. A-OK. -okay. Yep. Yeah, they have Ace here. Which changes things up a little bit. It's not what I expected. So I switched Super Monkey for Ace. We'll continue Ikong. They're going for a Balloon Trap for AI Balloons, it looks like. That's fi fair. That's fair. I don't really know how I want to play this out against Ace, to be honest. I'm not sure how I should play it. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I haven't really done this matchup before. We'll keep Ikong. I'm not gonna go for a ton of Eco though. I have three boosts left, which is really nice. I'll stop Ikong like pretty soon. There we go, nice. That's a solid amount of eco. That's, that's a respectable amount of eco here. A respectable amount. Let's target my thing right there. For now. And we'll save up for a beer for a central market. For around 20. Will be my plan. We should be good against AI balloons, right? Yeah, it appears we're fine still. Upgrade that. Let's get this up. We're chilling. Now I start building up my IMF loan. Pretty standard stuff. Am I good against these AI balloons? I think we are. How much do these sell for? 5,000, about 22,000. So I need like 23,000 to afford. You can also sell this. That's, so I need 22,000 to afford. Okay. I should be able to get that pretty soon. After I get up my monkey nomics, I want to start sending them rushes. Will be my plan. Alright, we're good against all that. Oh, I didn't mean to send that. That was an accidental BFB. As one would say. We're 
chilling. They're gonna use Sentai 10 here, I'd imagine. Against this, and then they're gonna ground zero. Keep sending them. We just gotta keep draining them here, to the best of my ability. That's the idea with this. I think that's all I'll send though. Now I'll just keep now I'll just farm on. Now I'll just farm. I'm gonna get my banana central here really soon. Banana central has been bought. We'll farm on. Nicely defended. Alright, keep building these up. We're doing alright so far. They got up a banana central on their side, nicely done. We'll send them one of these. Doing fine. Yeah, we forced their we forced their um flying fortress, that's good. Micro this guy. And we'll start sending again. Alright, we're doing fine. They're dead, they're dead. Let's go, buddy! Oh man, that was a game. Let's go, bro. I had to focus for that one. I had to face the number one player. We won, though. We won. Man, that was a game. That was a game. GG's. Alright, let's add Boat Ice Farm to here. That's unfortunate, though, because I can't use Boat Ice Farm anymore, which is one of my strongest strategies. So, we had to take out a really good strategy to win that game, but we did win, so that's really what matters. Alright guys, our next match here is against As Aspixation. Now, they only have a top 75% whole Masters badge, so I'm actually using a strategy that I typically wouldn't use. Um, It's a decent strategy, it's not a great strategy, but like, there's definitely better options for me, but since I don't want to use the better options yet, I'm going to try out Druid Sub Ice here. I'm going to try to play it smart. Pwn starting with their Dart Monkey, okay. Yeah, we're trying Druid Sub Ice, which isn't a bad strategy, don't get me wrong, but there's definitely better options here. But if I can, but I'm not going to really be using this strategy. I wouldn't really want to use the strategy in the future. So by knocking it out here, it gives me more options later down the road. Is my thought process. 
Yeah, they got their Quincy down with their Dart Monkey nicely done. They're trying to anti-stall a lot. I did not get my round one um, Oban, so I guess the anti-stall worked out for them. Let's give them a little, um, a little Highwayman Jericho emote right there. That's what you like to see. Quincy Dart Monkey. So I just need to make sure I don't die around 13. It's basically going to be the, one of the main things this game. If I don't die around 13, because that's probably their goal, just to anti-stall these early rounds a ton, and then like rush you around 13, round 11, and try to kill you there. Is what I'm guessing this guy's goal is. It's what their plan is. Alright, let's get my... Oh. Oops. Let's get my Druid Leaks on. Put this on close real quick. Try to get down to like 70. For that max Druid buff. What are we at? 107. I still need to get a couple more. Put it on last now. Put this on first. Oh, I overleaked, didn't I? I definitely overleaked. It's fine. It's fine. I'd rather overleak than underleak in a game like this because he is going a strategy where I need all the leaks in for round 13 defense. So, oh, they actually moved their spools. So now it's going to be stalling the rounds. Okay, I'll take that. Now the rounds are going to get stalled. We we know they have farm now, which is nice. He has placed a farm on the map. Let's go with middle cam for this one, so you guys can see his farms. Yeah, that's that's a better camera placement. Oh, I need to place down that. Upgrade that. That's actually kind of bad that I forgot to do that. I think my brambles will pick up anything that my druid missed, though. So I should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. So I'm a couple of white balloons mixed in. They're gonna use Quincy ability here, I'd imagine. Yeah, they're getting overrun. They need to. They need to use a Quincy ability here. And I'm a balloon boost at them. Okay, yeah, force boost as well. I'll take that. They got the crossbow and spooled up now. Without boost or Quincy ability, can they defend yellows though? I don't know how good that crossbow is with the spool. But ye ye yellows might overrun them, but I can't even send very many yellows. I don't have that much money, so they might be fine. Wait, they sold a farm. Oh, I, I don't know why they did that. They just replaced anyways. Okay. That was really weird. They are getting overrun though. Leaking a little bit. If I was able to send a little bit more yellows, they'd be in big trouble here. But I, I just don't, can't afford it. I'm poor. I'm a poor boy. We just gotta make sure we can defend these mid-game rounds now. So I'm not gonna send any Zebra Eco round 9. I just probably get up a Ballistic Missile for round 11. And then get up a Reactor and Ballistic for round 13. Would be my plan. Or I could go Double Ballistic for round 13. Double Ballistic be better than Ballistic Reactor. I don't know. Ballistics are pretty OP on this map. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait on getting Heart of Thunder though. Because... Heart of Thunder will anti-stall a little bit more, so I don't want to do that. Placed on my farm, I placed on my balloon bot here. They got up to their jug. Alright, let's stop ecoing right there. 790. Ballistic Missile will go right here. The game's lagging. Oh my gosh, my opponent's on one bar, guys. Oh my lord. You know how I feel about this chat. Okay, he's, he's rushing me. Upgrade, please. Okay. We're good. We're good. What's more expensive, a second ballistic or upgrading my reactor? I think it's pretty much the same price. It sells for 2400 so that means it's like 3000 something. Getting that in the crossbass is like 3000 something. Yeah, it's basically the same price there. Alright. I feel safe now. Oh, this lag is so annoying though. Holy cow, bro. We're back. Send two of these. They're dead. Never mind. They just didn't like leak at all. Apparently. Very. Oh, they are down to two lives. Okay. Okay, game. I see how it is. I see how it is. You just want me to endure this um terrible lag for a little bit longer. See how it is, Ninja Kiwi. Okay, their strategy has zero late game potential, so I definitely don't want to play it risky and go for too much eco. I'll probably stop ecoing pretty soon and just go for Druid Farms because the Druid Farms are a much safer play because I'll have selling power in Druid Farms and their defense as well. So I'll go to like 1200 eco and I'm just going to stop. Because Dart Sub Farm Quincy is not a good late game loadout in the slightest. Alright, 1200 eco. Stop right there. 
If they send me around 17 rush, I can get up a second ballistic missile, and that should defend pretty much everything that he'll want to send me. Two ballistics, a reactor, and my druid will defend a lot. Doesn't look like they're interested at the moment, so I'm gonna go for a jungle's bounty. Dude, this lag, I'm about to pull out my hair. I'm about to pull out my hair, guys. The hair that I've left. A couple hairs that I've left, I'm about to pull them out. I'm gonna go crazy. Jungle's bounty. Unsubmerge. Oh, I. Since there's lag, I clicked unsubmerge and it took like 10 seconds to do it. So I didn't actually get any camel balloons to go by. Alright, another jungle's bounty. Why well, don't put these all in strong? These jungle's bounties are actually pretty good mob defense. Um. I think I'm good against this, to be honest. I can get up a Druid of the Storm in the back if I need it, but I don't think that does anything. No, nah, Jungle's Bounties actually defend really well. As I said. If I went for just pure eco there, guys, instead of going for the Jungle's Bounties, I probably would need a boost against that, and then I'd be in some issues against an all-out rush. So, that's why you play it like this. Like, when you know your opponent has a really bad late-game loadout and is forced to rush you. Okay, we have up six Jungle's Bounties now, which is about a thousand eco. 900 eco, I think it is, actually. They're going for an IMF loan, okay. So they're gonna send me, like, a big... A big rush. How much do you sell for? 15k, roughly. I should be able to forward Spear of the Forest here. And I can sell those for another 7k. I don't even need Spear of the Forest, probably. I can probably defend without it, but we can afford. This will solo. Dude, the BFBs aren't going to do anything. Spear of the Forest is like the big counter to normal BFB rush. Like a million BFBs don't do anything in Spear of the Forest. I'm not sure if he realizes. This thing actually just shreds them. Yep, that, that just doesn't do anything. Alright. Well then, we got uh, Druid Sub Ice checked off the list. So let's do that. Druid Sub Ice. And that's four matches with four different strategies. That's pretty good. Um, And I will catch y'all in the next match of the video. So let's hop right into it. Alright guys, our next match here is on the new map. And we're going Boat, Mortar, and Ace here. Because I feel like this is the best strategy in the new map. And it's actually a good strategy for us because... It's not really a strategy used on very many other maps. So we're going to start with my striker here. Perfect. And they're starting with their boat. I think this Jake guy really likes to go boat Elk Spike Factory. So I assume that is their loadout. He likes to go the Spoon Oil strategy. Yeah, they're going Quincy as well. It's definitely their loadout here. That's definitely what they're bringing. Let's get my boat down. Perfect. All right, we're doing fine. Uh, Striker, if you could hit the balloon. Hit, hit the balloons, bro. Oh my gosh, what? What was that, bro? What was that, Striker? What were you doing, homie? That was like five shots in a row that just hit the boat. Come on, bro. Come on. Bro got a little too tipsy last night. Now he's missing shots. All right, we're fine, though. We're fine. I just leaked a quite a bit because of that. Because my Striker was throwing... Blue balloons at each other. We'll get a round six merchantman will be my goal. We'll get long range on this as well to increase the pierce. Pretty standard stuff. And then we'll go for a mortar as well next. Look at my plan. Let's get my farmer down and get my balloon butt down as well. Right here and right here. Perfect. Alright, send him some space pinks. They're gonna be sending me space pinks here pretty soon, I'd imagine. Mortar. Target you down there. Oh, they're actually not sending me space pinks, surprisingly. I, they would have forced leaks on me, so that's good that they're not. Bigger blast. Oh, and now the mortar ability is just gonna do circles. Okay. Not the mortar ability, the striker ability. That's cool. So, striker's gonna miss every shot, and the ability's gonna miss every shot as well. You know? That 
sounds about right. Sounds about right. Dude, actually hit the balloons, please. You're causing me so many leaks because you just keep hitting the boat. You actually hit the balloons for one striker. I'd be so happy. I'd be so delighted. Okay, we're still leaking, which is bad. One eco boost. I get up my merchant man, though. Merchant. Nice. Wait, there's a black balloon that got through. No, no, no. This is bad. This is bad. Rapid reload. We're fine. We're fine. We're not. We're not dead. Black balloon. Hit that striker. Nice. Okay, we're good. We're good. When does my when does my mortar get to hit black balloons? Is that this round? It is. Okay, now my mortar can hit black balloons, which is really good for me. All right, we're alive and we're well. We're alive and we're well. They got a boat on their side. Nicely done. We're chilling, we're chilling, chat. They got their merchant up. We'll continue ecoing. I'll send them some zebras next round. They go for an alchemist. They're sending me zebras as well. It's good shell shock on you. This should defend pretty well. Yeah, it's defending. Kind of. It's defending until it's not, basically. Alright, we're good, we're good. They have up their elk buffed boat. I could probably rush them. I don't know if it's worth, though. When we have a big lake game advantage with our loadout. I don't know if it's worthwhile. My eco is really solid here, though. My eco is very, very good. Look at that. Almost a thousand eco right now. Yeah, we're going to have a second merchant before this round ends. We should be good against that rush. Yep, we're good. I got my mortar back at the top. I assume they're going to try re rushing me, so I'm going to have a second mortar. We're good. Is he gonna re-rush me? That's not gonna do anything. AI balloons almost screwed me though. AI balloons almost screwed me there. They boost. All right, they're dead, they're dead. That's GG. Let's go, bro. Yes, sir. That's five, that's five and zero. Oh. All right, let me add that to my notes. That's five, that's five, that's five. All right, we got boat, mortar, ace in here. Perfect. All right, guys, our next match of the video is against Jake once again. So I don't really know how we got him two times in a row, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll start with my ace right here. I'm going ace, mortar, and spike factory. Ace Mortar Farm is probably the meta on this map, but I'm not really too worried about facing Jake. Okay, he's actually going Ace here. I thought he'd be going Boat Elks back again. So actually, I might be a little bit worried about facing Jake now. Um, We'll see what they're rocking with. Let's get my Jericho round one here. Perfect. Yep, they got their Quincy round one. Okay, they're probably going Ace sub Elk with Quincy. Which will be interesting. Yeah, I should have went Ace Mortar Farm then. I thought they'd be going Bodox back again. Because I thought Jake only uses Bodox back. But I guess he's switching it up today. He's switching it up. Oh, uh, we're good against all that. The nice part is they're not going Jericho here. So I can leak early game and not have to worry about Jericho camos ruining the day. That is very nice for us. Very, very nice. Let's get my second Ace down. Perfect. Figure infinite on that. We'll get my farmer, get my balloon bot down here. Yeah, they're going eco as well. So they're both going an eco strategy here. All right, this will be interesting. I've never really taken my eco strategy late on this map. 
So we'll see how that plays out, I guess. It's a sharp darts on this guy. Send him some pinks. And then we want to get my, um, what's it called? We'll get this guy up to a never miss eventually. Okay, I got him centered where I want him centered. So then I can get the never miss and, and go center path pretty easily in combination. They're going for a sub. Is that how they're going to defend white balloons with a sub? Well, balloon boost. Does that defend? It actually is, low key. Interesting. New tech found out by J from Jake from State Farm. New tech from Jake from State Farm. All right, I got my never miss up. I don't know how expensive that sub is though. It's probably like a thousand, roughly, for a zero one one sub. So I guess it's better than going for a never miss, probably. I guess he can do it because it's Quincy as well. Quincy definitely helps out helps out cleaning up the balloons a lot. So since they have Quincy, they can probably get away with the sub tactic. Since they have Quincy. Alright, so let me get yellows. We'll steal money from them. They use Quincy ability. I feel like when Quincy ability runs out, the yellows might overrun them though. Yeah, okay, so they just still had to sell the sub. I don't know about that then. Because they still had to sell the sub, so they lost money selling it. I don't know about the tactic now. I'm not sure about the tactic. The tic tac. Alright, my eco's pretty solid though. Rapid fire. We're chilling, we're chilling. Ace Alk sub, my guess is. Should I slow down my eco? I feel like my opponent might be over ecoing, but I have an eco strategy is the issue here, so I can't really rush them like crazy since I have an eco strat. But they are over ecoing really hard. They are definitely over ecoing. They definitely have to boost round 11. There's no way they're fording their D camo sub and a alk buff. Okay, we forced a boost. I feel like they're dead. They have Quincy though, which makes things a little bit interesting because Quincy ability can slap. Down there, dead. GG's. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. We're going crazy today, boys. All right, what are we at? What's, how many is that? Six? That's six. Ace, mortar, back. Perfect. If I can get 10, that'd be really good with switching strategy every game. I feel like 10 would be solid. Okay, we're against Bacon for our next match. I can't use Bomb Mortar Farm though. I've already used that strategy. So ideally I skip this map. Castle Ruins, he skips. Off Tide. I haven't used Tack Mortar Farm yet. I haven't used Tack Mortar Farm yet, right? No, I have not. We'll go the Tack, the Mortar, and the Farm Tower combination. They're going Tack as well. I wonder if they're going the same loadout as me. They probably are, because they brought uh they brought Jericho too. Alright, one eco boost to get my Jericho down. Perfect. Puts guy in strong. We're doing fine and dandy. This should minimize leaks for me. Yep, good job, Jerry. He's sending me blue blue Nico. Does it do they have an eco strategy? Uh no, they're going back to reds. I was gonna say, maybe they do. Maybe they do. I know no bacon likes to go some interesting strategy sometimes, so. You can never really put them on something. Yeah, we got my farm down in time. Got that banana rolling. Um, let's move my camera to the middle. There we go. Should be a better camera spot for this map. They might be going for a second farm for the next round. That might be the tactic they're doing. The two unupgraded farm tactic. Oh, I'm literally $4 off, bro. Bro, that's insane. That's actually insane. Four dollars. 
Oh, uh, I was not paying attention, to be honest, to my money. That shouldn't have even happened. I was snoozing, and then I started losing, you know what I'm saying? You snooze, you lose. Four dollars. Just cost me, like, 70 lives. Alright. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not the end of the world, Ryan. At least we're up a balloon boost now. That's something. That's something. Okay, we're good against all that. One eco boost, I get up my farm. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get my decam mortar now. Let's cross about my farm. Yeah, they get their second steel round 11, because they haven't used their second steel yet. So they're going to use it round 11 here. Am I dead? No, I'm good. I'm good. They're going to send me a rerush round 13 for sure. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah, okay, we forced a boost on their end. I'll take that. Or some Maelstroms, I'll take that. Alright. Had some bad plays earlier in the game, but we're definitely more tied up now after those rushes. Those rushes were good for me. Those rushes definitely were good for me there. We're chilling there. Nice try, nice try. Nice try, little guy. We should be good against that Moab. Okay, we don't want to use our last boost, so fortified Moab, I probably just get up an ABAT. Last boost does not want to be used here. He's going to send me a fortified Moab too, I feel it. No fortified Moab yet. Go for a farm. Probably stop beacon right there. The souls for what? 3k-ish? Okay. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. We vibing and thriving. How much is soul for? 1,100. Okay. Let's get my A bat here. Perfect. Question is, are they gonna send me a those BAD not the BADs, the um DMGs? I think they are. I've got a feeling. It's a normal ZMG though. Normal ZMG will be fine against this. Without boost. Am I dead? Dude, this game sucks! This game sucks, bro. I need three Maelstroms against that? 
Well, I guess that's the video. I can't believe I lost like that, bro. I thought that would defend, to be honest. That's just that's just me being bad at the game. I really thought that two Maelstroms would defend. Maybe if I put my second Maelstrom where my first one was. Unlucky.